Today we're taking a look at the brand new TiVo Bolt OTA DVR. This is the 2018 model, comes with a voice remote. It's not only a DVR, but it's also a streaming player with Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, YouTube, Plex, Pandora, and more, all built in as apps right here to stream your content. And it's a one terabyte four tuner version. Now, TiVo has had a DVR for antennas with the Bolt line for a while now, but it was also a cable box. So it had tuners for both cable and antenna built into one device. This TiVo Bolt only has support for antennas. So you'll only be able to use this with your antenna. You won't ever be able to go get a cable card and plug this in there. But it's a great option for cord cutters. We're gonna do a little unboxing here. I'm gonna show you everything that comes with this TiVo Bolt. And then in the same video here, about halfway through, I will show you how it runs. We'll talk about the features on it and more. If you wanna learn more, you wanna find this on Amazon, I will put a link to it down in the show notes. Avoid the recommended products YouTube often puts right below the video. They're not always the products I actually review. So make sure to get this version that I'm reviewing here that's built specifically for antennas. Check the link in the show notes. First of all, let's take a look at the remote. Now this is the TiVo remote. It's a pretty standard remote they've had for a while now. Does include voice search on it. Netflix quick launch button. The ability to skip commercials, which I know a lot of people love. It is programmable. You can have it set up to power on and off your TV, for example, to control your TV with it. It's a beefy remote. It definitely is thicker than most right there, but it's a nice, easy to use setup. If you've ever had a cable DVR remote, you're gonna be right at home with this TiVo remote. Of course, it does come with batteries, two AA batteries on that. And then here's the actual TiVo box itself. This is the DVR and streaming player. It does have a fan built in. There is a little bit of fan noise with it. On the back, you have two USB storage or a USB uh, plugs here, external storage, eSATA, HDMI, Ethernet, which is great if you wanna have Wi-Fi or Ethernet, the coaxial cable to connect your antenna, and an optical audio out right there. And there is a remote finder, so you can press this button right here to help you make a chirping noise with your remote to find it if you've lost your, your TiVo remote. Um, you have a pretty standard, uh, but nicely colored, easy to follow setup, instructions on how to connect your TiVo to your TV. It really is only about four steps, super easy. Um, comes with a power cord. It is a big power cord, but they kind of have it set up to the side, which is nice. Works great with power strips. And it comes with a HDMI high-speed cable here. Uh, eyeballing this, this looks to be about a six-foot cable, which is pretty nice. That is everything that comes with the TiVo Bolt OTA DVR. Um, so you got the DVR, power cord, HDMI, manual, remote, and batteries. All right, so I'm gonna go hook this all up, test it out, come back here, and let you know what I think of the product. Well, I've been playing around with the TiVo Bolt OTA DVR for a little while now, and it's very nice. If you've used a TiVo, you're gonna love this. If you really enjoyed your cable TV box experience and you really don't wanna get far from it, this is probably the closest you're gonna to get to a cable box um, with cord cutting. It, of course, works with antennas and a very traditional grid guide here like you, you're used to. The remote is very similar to a lot of cable box remotes and a lot of the features are the same. Um, so here's the traditional grid guide. I know a lot of people absolutely love this ability to go into the future, see what's coming up. I can say, oh, let me record this. I can record um, just once. I can say, hey, I wanna record a season pass. Come in here and do things like new and reruns or just new or everything. Um, I can go in here and say, I only wanna keep five or 25 recordings of this. Keep it until space is needed or until I delete it. Start it recording early or end it late. All kinds of great features. I know a lot of people love the ability with TiVo Seasons Pass, it's just very feature rich. Of course you can just go in here and set up a one-time recording. Is it if you're gonna be gone, and you wanna catch that football game, you can set up for a one-time recording just like you would any other time and still have the ability to say, hey, you know that football game may run a little long, so let's, uh, let's record an extra hour to make sure we don't miss the ending of the football game. Um, so there is a lot of cool features there. Well, let's go into the guide. So here's the TiVo home screen. Here, not only do you get your shows you've recorded and set up, you also get recommendations on what to watch. So not only is it showing me stuff on my antenna, you can see here a little icon that says, hey, this is available on your antenna layer today, and back episodes are on Hulu. 
Here's one that's saying, hey, here's a show on Amazon Prime you may enjoy. As you watch more content, the recommendations here will get better. So just keep that in mind. One of the big selling points here is not only is it a DVR for your antenna, it's also a streaming player with 4K built in. And it's got a decent selection of apps. It's not nearly as big as a Roku, Apple TV, or Fire TV, but they got the big ones, Netflix, HBO Go, uh, Amazon Prime, Hulu, YouTube, Alexa support, Vudu, Plex, um, MLB, WW um, Network, and more all right here. So these are all the ones that come pre-installed. Let's launch Netflix real quick. Um, it's a fully updated version of Netflix. What you would find on a Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, very similar. This is the most recent version, they, uh, model they've been rolling out to streaming players right now. And not only does it stream in HD, if you set it up, it will stream in 4K. This is 4K streaming, not 4K with your antenna, but 4K streaming through apps like Netflix, which is a great feature there. Uh, back to the home screen, let's go into live TV. So this is the live TV, got the progress bar on the bottom. If I press up, I get a little mini guide right here, which is pretty cool. I can come in here and just kind of see everything coming up later today in PBS Kids. And say, hey, you know, here's everything for a while. And I kind of like it. Very easy to see this. Not only do you get a the name of the show, you also get some cover art, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, and then let's go back to the um, menu here. And yeah, that is the TiVo Bolt. Now it is a premium price. You are paying for the name. There is ability to buy a lifetime or a yearly pass on top instead of doing a month to month fee on this. Um, but it does come with a terabyte internal storage. This model is the fork tuner, which is nice. It's not crazy overpriced. It is competitive with other models. But what you're really paying for here is the very slick user interface, the remote experience of having as close to a cable experience as possible on a streaming OTA DVR. Instead of having to use a Roku or Fire TV, instead of having a, a guide, but it's not nearly as nice as maybe what you had before, the TiVo really is a polished user interface and you're paying a slight premium price for that, but it does a good job overall. I would say, hey, two thumbs up. If you want this experience, this is important to you. This is great. If you want a DVR that also has Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu built into one, then you're good. I know for most people, that's everything they need. The downside here is there are no Sling TV, PlayStation View, DirecTV Now, etc. on this. So if you're looking for something where you could also stream ESPN through the uh, Sling TV, for example, you're kind of out of luck here. So that's the big downside. The plus side is it is awesome. You pair this with a Roku, you have a pretty compelling, easy transition into core cutting from cable. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hey, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And hopefully we can help you learn more about core cutting. Every week we're doing weekly core cutting Q&As every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Every Saturday we po post a weekly recap of some of the biggest stories in the world of core cutting, helping you stay informed on all things core cutting. Of course, product reviews, how to's, and more, all here on our YouTube channel. You can also find us over at corecutersnews.com. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.